Bukali. Bukali is a freed Kamaya's daughter. Her home is in Kailali district, Shakti Nagar camp. Bukali is in the second grade. Her school is a run, small rundown house that is falling apart. Today there is something festive in the air. Dickery fish, crab, snail, sutai, pickled rodent, koriya, fulari, tusa, and taro leaves are sprayed out inside Bukali's home. She has never seen this much food at once before. Bukali had been telling her friends, the country's biggest person is coming to my house. Sometimes when visiting relatives brought chocolate and biscuits for Bukali, it made her very happy. Today, an important person was coming to her house. Can you imagine what this person will bring me? Jumping in joy, Bukali said to her friend Mongali, but this person has never seen you before. What could a stranger possibly bring? Mongali reasoned. The country's prime minister arrives at Bukali's home. The prime minister is welcomed and seated in the anga in front of her house. He enjoys many helpings of snails, dikri, and other taro dishes. After lunch, the prime minister listens to everyone's contrins. Their road is not linked to the main highway. The roof of their school is leaking. Bukali hopes that the prime minister would speak to her or at the very least ask for her name but none of that happens the prime minister is in a rush before leaving he turns to bukali's father and says the food was a little spicy but it was delicious bambran chodri thank you very much oh the prime minister is reaching into his left coat pocket Oh, he finally is going to hand me a bit, a piece of candy. Bukali thinks to herself, but he fishes out a piece of paper, giving it to Bukali's father. He says, contact me if you need to. Then the prime minister reaches into his right coat pocket. Ah, this time he's definitely going to give me something. Bukali perks up, but he pulls out a handkerchief and begins to wipe his mouth. All the free Kamaya families of Shakti Nagar cheerfully bid the Prime Minister goodbye. Meanwhile, Bukali is quietly sobbing by herself. Baba asks, what's wrong with our daughter? Sniffing, she says, such a big person came to visit us and didn't even get me anything. Baba wipes her tears and says, don't cry, Chori. He has promised to make our village bright and colorful. Bukali looks up. He couldn't even carry a small piece of candy i can make our village bright and colorful on my own i don't need help ama calls from the kitchen chori listen the prime minister didn't even touch the pickled rodent your favorite dish come come have it with dinner 